Hey everyone, so today I have another storing photo cards video and I do have like a pretty decent stack of cards saved up. They are mostly all black, pink, and stray kids, but I do have some stuff for some other groups to put away. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it now. I think I'm actually gonna go a little bit out of order and start off with my binder that has Dreamcatcher in it. So I do have something to put away for every group in this binder. So for this page, I do have the last Yuhan card I needed. It did unfortunately come like really damaged and like the envelope it came in was extremely messed up, which I don't think it was the seller's fault. I think it was something that happened with the like the post office as it was getting delivered to me. But I'm honestly just glad to finally have one of her platform version cards because for some reason I'm struggling with Jiu and Yuhan for the last platform version cards. Then I do also have the last two limited cards I needed for Yuhan. They have announced that they're supposed to have a comeback sometime in May, but there really hasn't been any more details about it announced. So don't really know when it's going to be. So I'm not, I'm trying not to stress about it right now. Also with Blackpink announcing the US Encore for the tour, I'm kind of just worried about that right now. I'm not planning on focusing too much on any of the upcoming comebacks. Which, speaking of comebacks, the Seraphim also announced a comeback and they've already started releasing teasers and like have album details out and everything. Since J1 is so hard to collect, I'm really not not gonna worry too much about their comeback. I probably won't work on collecting that album until a little bit later, especially with like other groups that are a little bit higher priority collections for me also having comebacks, but I do I did at least have one more anti-fragile card, so I am still missing three cards, but I'm really not in a rush to find them, especially the card from the Frozen Aquamarine version, because that card is like ridiculously expensive for no good reason. So I'm sure I'll try and collect anti-fragile or unforgiven at some point, but it's just really not a priority right now. And I might try and like go to Target after the albums come out and get at least one version, but I'm really not super worried about that right now. And I do have two Yorm cards, so I have one more of her Super Yelpers cards. So I just need one more of her cards, and then Super Yelpers is finished. And then I do have the last sequence card that I needed for her. So, I have sequence finished for Subin Airy Worm. Next, I think I'm going to do black pink, but I think I'm going to do my non album binder first. So, for this binder, I just have stuff from Lisa's photo book to put away. I do already have some pages in here for it. So, I do have. The card that I pulled in my photo book and one of the K-Town Review creator benefits, I do have one of the YG Select cards on the way. And I honestly, like, what I would like to do is have three of the pre-order cards in the middle and then do two of the photo book cards at the top and two at the bottom. But the other three cards are really hard to find. Like, all of the cards from the photo book are really hard to find. So I feel like it's not going to be easy to do that. So I think for now, and I do also have the one smaller sticker from the photo book. So for now, I think I might just put these in the middle. I do have one of the YG Select printer benefits on the way. And I do also have all of like the large inclusions, which I think are mostly just the stickers. And then the bigger Polaroid. I'm gonna stick that right here. I think those would probably be 
a little easier to find if I wanted to collect them. Let's stick that sticker down here. And then those two right here. And then the envelope is a little too big for these four pocket pages. But I think I'm just going to stick that there for now. And I'll probably end up moving it out of here at some point. But for now, it'll just be like that. I really would love to collect all four of the photo book cards, but like you said, I just I don't know if that's going to be possible. But I am at least going to try. Right, and then that was everything for non-album stuff for Blackpink. And next I'm going to go into my album photo card binder for them. And so I do have some foreign pink cards and some cards from Jisoo's solo. have anything for the black version. I do finally have one of the other pink version cards. I have there's a finish for the pink version. So I just need that Jisoo card, which is the last Jisoo card I need. And then I also have Rosé's Polaroid. Now I don't need any more of the Polaroids. I don't have anything for the gray version. I have that post already, and I still need Lisa's kit version card. And then for this page, I originally wasn't going to collect the YG Select selfie cards, but I, I found them all, the other three that I needed on Macari Japan for like pretty decent prices. So I decided I am. I decided to collect those since I already had Jenny's, so now have this page finished finally. I honestly think Rosé is, is probably my favorite. Don't I have extra Jenny and Rosé? I think I'm just gonna stick those right there for now. Have that page finished and then I do also have the other Make star card I needed for Lisa. So I finally have this page finished. So I have all of the the full group sets for pre-orders finished. So I just need a few more Lisa cards. So I do have two of her other cards. A I think this was YG Select and this was like a YG Select pop-up shop that they did. So I am going to rearrange this page a little bit. So I'm going to put this card in the middle and move this card right here. So all of the cards with the black border are in the middle. So I'm going to just rearrange those cards and then put this card at the bottom. So now I just need two more of Lisa's product cards and then I am done with that for Born Pink. So I really am getting close. Born Pink, I have the Digipack version finished. I need two more cards from the black version. One more card for the pink version. Three cards from the gray version, which Jenny's cards are still impossible to find for a decent price. And then the only other Lisa card I need that's not a pre-order card is the gift version card. So I am really close. And then I still need to work on the postcards, but it's not like a super high priority. And again, like right now, my biggest worry is getting a ticket for the US Encore. I am going to be trying for the MetLife show, which is the first show of the Encore. And honestly, like, the thing I'm mostly worried about is that I work the morning of the, like, the Blink pre-sale, like, the Weavers membership pre-sale. So I'm gonna be at work trying to get a ticket, which I'm really worried about, especially just because it's been really busy for my job the last few weeks, so I'm hoping it won't be too bad as the tickets go on sale and I'm able 
to just get my ticket and not have to worry about it, but we'll see. All right, so now I just have the stuff for Jesus' album. So I originally was only collecting the photo book versions, or I was only going to buy the photo book versions, and then a tag version was announced, and I decided to get both of those, but then my albums were taking forever to get shipped, and the tag versions were delayed until the beginning of May, and I really didn't want to wait for my albums. So I like the, had the tag versions removed from my order and got just the other two versions shipped to me. Set this up before the tag versions were announced. My plan was just to do the, whatever selfie card I got from the tag version, from the black version on the top and then the red version on the bottom. So then the guy would have a full page of stuff and then I would have the K-Town for you pre-order benefits in the middle, but then I didn't end up getting the tag versions. And at this point, I'm kind of like, the encore getting announced just really like mess up all my collection plans for everything because now i'm like i don't want to worry i don't want to buy anything i just want to worry about getting my ticket so i might get the tag version at some point but it's really just not a high priority right now and i actually think i want to rearrange this a little bit and do the red version at the top and the black version at the bottom just because this is probably my favorite jisoo card not even just from this album, but like like all of her all of her cards overall. This is probably one of my favorites. So I'm gonna put the red version at the top. Do the black version at the bottom. I have the normal album photo cards first, and then the First press card second. And then there was a K Town for You pre order benefits, which I kind of want to put this one on the front page because I think that one's one of my favorites. And this one is from the black version, so I'd rather have. So I'd rather have the card from the black version in the middle and then two cards from the red version outside, I think. I might do those three. I don't know. If I like that, I kind of want to do this one instead, but I feel like this card is so dark. I might end up swapping those out later. I'm just going to go with that for now. And then I do have two pages in here. because I was going to use, I was going to have the concept cards from the tag versions in here too. Again, I don't have the tag versions right now. So I think I'm just going to put the rest of these cards here somehow. I don't know what layout I want to do because there's only five cards. I'm just gonna do that one in the middle. And then those two down there, and then these two on the top. Which, if I do ever get the tag versions, this will obviously be switched around. the two Polaroids and the two bookmarks. I just need to put them after the extra nine pocket page I have in here. And if I end up just not deciding to get the tag version, I'll just take that extra page out. I'm going to do the Polaroids at the top.
and then the two bookmarks at the bottom. Everything for Jisoo Solo and for Blackpink. I definitely think I probably can't fit anything else in this binder. And it seems like at this point they're most likely going to renew with Roiji, which I don't love the idea of. But I feel like it's been pretty obvious that they want to stay a group, which that I am happy about. But I definitely think Jisoo Solo Debut was probably the last release of theirs that I can fit in this binder. So whenever they end up having a comeback, I think I'm going to have to get a third black pink binder because I really don't think anything else will fit in here. I'm really hoping they do have a comeback before the end of the year at some point. But like with how busy they've been with Coachella and the tour, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Great, and then that was everything for black pink. Now I just have EXO and Stray Kids. Right, so for EXO, I just have... Photo cards from Kai's comeback, and I originally was planning on just laying the cards out however, however I wanted, but I did realize all of the cards have a number on them. From well, all the cards from the photo book sleeve and digipack versions have numbers on them, and they all they connect together. So there's like little drawings on the corners that connect, and I think there's like some like children's song that the lyrics on the backs of the cards are from so it's like a specific order that they're supposed to be in so i decided for now i am going to set them up in the order that they're supposed to be in i mean originally i was going to collect at least one of the cards from the mini version but i honestly don't love the cards from that version that much and because i am putting the cards in order it would just mess up mess up the layout if I collected those so I'm not going to so I do have one five and eight and then I also do have number three on the way so this one is number eight and this one is number one and then number five so I'm really not expecting to get over finished anytime soon because I feel like the cards are like, even harder to find than usual for his solo releases. Cause, like, I still I am still missing cards from his first album and from Peaches, obviously, but I don't know. I feel like those cards were easier to find than these ones are for some reason. But like again. With the black pink on quarter and with exo having a comeback at some point i'm just not really too worried about finishing rover especially because this was most likely his last solo release before he enlists so i should have plenty of time to be able to finish this at home you know, we still don't know when the exo comeback is going to be they just did like a bunch of fan meetings so and they performed an unreleased song so it should be coming sometime soon. I just don't know when yet. Alright, and then I just have some Stray Kids cards to put away. So for no easy, I do just have one Jan card and the last three Felix cards I needed. And I think I'm actually really close to finishing Felix. I do have some cards for him for this video, and then I do have some cards on the way. So now I do have this page finished, and I am just missing one card from this page. And then I have Felix's Jewel Case card. So this page is finished, so I'm putting just one card away from finishing the easy. But they're also supposed to be having a comeback just haven't officially announced it but then I do have this no easy pre-order I want to say like postcard because I don't know what else to call it so I do have that for Felix and then I have his glitter card from Christmas Evil and then I do actually have 
the last Christmas Evil card I needed on the way. So I should have Christmas Evil done for my next video, which my goal is to have at least one album completely finished for them before my next before their next comeback. So I'm definitely considering that goal finished. And I do have all but one of Chan's Omnery cards. I was supposed to have him finish for Omnery in this video. I bought a set of his cards from Makari Japan and his Omnery jewel case was supposed to be included in there but for some reason that one card was missing. So I have all of his Omnery cards but that one but I do have Felix's on the way. And I think those two ordinary cards are really like the last cards I need for Felix. Which really isn't too bad. And then I also have this Ion card for Ordinary. And then I do have Jungbin on the way. So I should have this set finished in my next video, which I know this set will not be hard to collect, which is why I decided to collect it. And then I have three more unit cards, which I think I'm just going to put on this page and then just rearrange the circle cards a little bit. I'm just going to put the two blue units on the outside and then the red one in the middle. I'm definitely not planning on collecting the rest of the units or anything. I wasn't even planning on like getting any of the rest of the units, but then I have a bunch of them. And I do have Felix's Go version card from Maxident on the way, which is the last Maxident card I needed for him. I just don't have it to put away in this video. I do have some Max pre-order and fan sign cards, but that I wasn't originally planning on collecting, but now I have. And for right now, I'm just kind of going to stick them on this page in like no real order. Because originally, I was thinking about maybe collecting just one nine pocket page full of some pre-order cards from Chan and maybe doing like three no easy cards three ordinary and then three from accident and i was just gonna skip christmas evil because for some reason i feel like the christmas evil pre-order cards are like really expensive most of the time when i see them and i don't like them as much as the other albums but then the more i thought about it i was kind of like thinking i could just get an a5 binder and have like four cards from each album and just like collect a few more but then i ended up with four extra from accident like fan sign pre-order and this one lucky draw card for him so i decided hey, i'm just gonna do an a5 binder with pre-order benefits for him and like a few cards for felix i feel like i've seen a few different people who collect stray kids who have an extra a5 binder that they put special cards in so i decided i'm just gonna do that and i do already have the binder that i'm gonna put those cards in but i just i need to get new sleeves for the cards so that's the main reason I'm not putting them away in this video. So I'm just going to do that in my next story video. So for now, I'm just going to stick these cards on the empty pages in here. Or the empty spots on this page. They're really not going in any particular order. Just because they're coming. They're going to come right out in my next story video. It'll be in that A5 binder. Like, for the longest time, I didn't think I ever wanted to even try out an A5 binder. But now I think I'm going to see how I feel about having that binder. And then maybe see if there's any collections I'd want to move into a smaller binder. I know I definitely couldn't do black, pink, in an A5 binder. Even though it would work out nice because there are four members. I think I just have way too many cards for them. That would just never work. Okay, and then I do have three more of the Maniac Horror Polaroids. I think I'm just going to stick these three at the top.
I'm getting pretty close to finishing these. I definitely don't think I'm going to finish them in time for their next comeback. And I'm really trying to convince myself that I'm not going to need to collect a lot of Creator Benefits and fan sign cards when they have their comeback. I'm definitely going to try and limit myself. But we'll see what ends up happening. And then I do have two more cards. So I have the... So I have Felix and Chan's unit from The Sound, which I really love the album. And part of me kind of wants to collect at least Chan's cards for The Sound. But I'm really trying to talk myself out of it. Especially because the cards like slightly bigger than normal photo cards that are like a bit of a weird shape. I do have this other Maniac Tour card. I think I'm just going to end up putting these in that A5 binder, but for right now I'm just going to stick them on the bottom of this page, but they're definitely not staying here. Right, and then that was everything I had to put away in this video. I'm just going to end it on this page. It's kind of just a mess right now. All these cards will be in my A5 binder when I set that up in my next video. Alright, that was everything for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.